Hello everyone, welcome back to Mobby Nogi. Today we're gonna be checking out the Kimono Friends board game. Now last time uh, I played this, I think it was around the ReZero event, and it was good money. So let's see what we can do this time. So last time I played it was kind of like snakes and ladders, but it doesn't seem to be uh, as bad this time, I don't think. If I could ever get further onto the board, that would be nice. Spin decrease, what? Alright, so it seems like it doesn't throw you back as many things, except for when you land on out. Which, this board only seemed to have one of. We got 30k gold, so this seems to be quite valuable again. And it does another spin decrease, that is... Those are pretty annoying ones, to be honest. Alright, so what is this thing then? It threw me back to spaces. <laughs> Basically took... Was it free? This spot here to get on it, to get back, and then it took another one. Uh, where are we at? Is that just a regular one? I would like to see what happens when we land on the um, presents, but. Oh, nice! Karen Joe's Lucky Box. Alright, so at the end we'll check out how that works, or what there is to see in these. Oh, actually, we can already see. A box containing all sorts of items, sure to drive you wild, open it and obtain the various items, including the Norton White-Faced Owl slash Friends second title, a suit, and a Savannah Studio set, and more. That sounds pretty nice. Hopefully we can get a couple more of those. Another big payout? 10k this time? So congratulations, we got a coin box. Ah, uh, that just gives us three coins. Yeah, okay, so for clean, completing the board once, we get uh, just coins. Okay, well, that's kind of sad. These we have to put in the bank. Let's see what these items are all about. So first one, I already lost it. Here it is. It is an advanced phoenix feather. I do not have space for any more medical stuff. And then a jasper. You know what? Dropping that shit. This is kind of what I don't really like about these boxes. The same thing kind of counts for the uh, buyable ones, right? Like, you get so many of these items that it is quite annoying. You have to pay so much money to get some of the items you kind of want. Well, that was the board game. I think the board changes a slight bit. Although it looks to be exactly the same, so maybe not. So if you want to get some good cash, Play this. Uh, you can get some cool sounding reward. Yeah, you can get some cool sounding rewards as well, and it looks pretty cool. So, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.